TII Technical Education Systems, Teaching Technology for Tomorrow. Okay, in this video what I'd like to do is show you how to create a timer where you can display the accumulated time onto an HMI. So the first things we need to do is create a the timer in the PLC program. So I'm going to drop a, a circuit in here and we're going to use all HMI uh, tags here. So everything will be done on the HMI. So we go to the start button, hit enter, and I've created all of these tags. So um, if you if you don't know how to create these, I have previous videos that I've made that show you how to create all these tags that are here. Drop this over here. Select our normally our normally closed. HMI stop. All of these tags have been created. Now let's put our timer in. So we're going to come over to instructions. We're going to grab our TON. Drop this in here. We'll call this HMI timer. Say OK. And let's control an output. We'll go ahead and we'll control uh, just a basic light. OK. Do the left red light on the Siemens PLC HMI trainer by TI Technical Education. Drop this in. And we will make this the memory for it. Now, actually, you know, let's do this. Let's make the memory for this from the HMI timer. So we'll do the HMI timer, we click here, and then we select the in. So anytime the in is on, so will this be. So this will provide memory for that HMI start. Okay? Now let's make the preset here uh, four and a half seconds. Alright, so remember you're multiplying by one millisecond. So for four and a half seconds, it would be 4,500 seconds. And you can see 4 seconds, 500 milliseconds, or that would be 4.5 seconds. And then we'll create um, somewhere so we can accumulate that time. So we will call this HMI Timer ACC. Okay. And then we'll define this tag as a data type time. So we'll just select time here. And now this program is set up with the timer. And I want to show you two ways to add the display to your HMI. So now that this is here, um, we can go ahead and download this to the PLC. And then we'll open up the root screen. Now, I already created a start-stop station in a previous video, and I've left it up here so you could see it, so we can use that uh, on the HMI screen. So now, there are two ways to put in the accumulated time to display that EN, okay? So the first way to do this is to open up your toolbox and come down to Elements. And right here, you can select I.O. field, and we'll bring that over to here. And what this does is this is a place where you can display your count or your time accumulated value. So what we'll do is we'll double click here, and this will bring up the properties. Minimize the toolbox, and there's some things we have to do in here. First thing we have to do is um, tag it, okay? So what we want to do is we want to browse out. We have to go to our PLC tags, default tag table, and if we scroll down here, we have our HMI timer ACC. This is the tag that we created that will that will show the accumulated value. So we'll click here, we'll hit enter. Now we have to set the format. Okay. So what we want to do is we're going to come down here, and we are going to select. We're going to allow this to ha display nine different variables, nine different digits, okay? And those are all right here. And then we need to place the decimal point three over. And the reason we place it three over 
is because we're talking in milliseconds. So this will convert that milliseconds into seconds for us. And believe it or not, this is ready to download. But before we do, I would like to show you another way to accomplish this. It's actually a little bit easier, if you will. What I'm going to do is I'm going to split the screen here. So I have my PLC program over here, my HMI root screen over here. I'm going to come over and I'm going to grab this tag and just drop it in here. How cool is that? That is beyond simple. You don't have to worry about selecting the, font, the, the wrong tags or anything like that. It's right here and we're ready to rock and roll. So you turn the split screen off. I'll bring this one over here. Okay. And then again, we'll double click Come down here. This one will actually make six. We'll have it, uh, have the uh, format pattern be six. Select the decimals over as three. And we'll just show you the difference. It'll actually end up looking exactly the same. And you'll see that your tag is already there. It's already created. Now you can actually go in here and you can change the appearance of, you know, you can change the background color. Um, if you want it to be a little, if you want it to pop a little bit more, or if you want to have um, different colors for different timers, however you want to do that. Okay. And so we'll go ahead and change this to blue. And we'll just change this one. We'll leave this one as white. You can change the border width, make it a little bit thicker, make a little, you can change the border type if you want to. Okay, totally up to you. You go ahead and mess around with these features a little bit. There's some pretty cool ones in there. Um, then we'll minimize this. And then what we can do, this is in the manual, we can actually bring over a text field. And I don't think I've shown you how to do this so far in the video. But we'll bring this over and we can add this to here. And what this will allow us to do is to identify this. So this is um, timer ACC, okay, or um, runtime. However, you want to identify it. Okay, we can do the same thing over here. Grab the text box, drop it over here. And again, you can name this whatever you can, and you can do this for your start buttons, your stop buttons, whatever you need to do. Any, anything you want to identify here, you can do that. And so here we can just identify this as, um, oops, double click on it, single click, sorry, timer, HMI, ACC, hit enter, bring that up over here, and if you double click, or you click on it, you can actually bring up the properties for it, and you can go ahead and you can change the colors of this as well. All right, so you can go ahead and grab a different color to match something or to make it pop in some way so it's easily identifiable for the operators. All right, and this is ready to download. And of course, we have two timers here that are doing the same thing, but all in all, it's a pretty cool feature, I think. Now, let's say I wanted to line this up. So these, this, is, this is off here a little bit. I show this in the TII manual, but I'll show it to you here. I have just selected these two. And if I select this align selected objects vertically, it lines them up perfectly, okay? I can do the same thing here by dragging this out of the way, dragging this out of the way, highlighting these three boxes, and I can um, bring this and I can align it this way. So now I know that everything is perfectly lined up. Grab this, drag it down to here, here, highlight these, come over here, line it up with each other, line it up with each other. And this is a nice looking screen. So we're, gonna, we're actually ready to download this. So we'll go ahead and start the downloading process. Okay, so we are ready to try this. So we're going to come over, we're going to select the start button, and we are timing out right here, and after four and a half seconds, the red light comes on. So if you hit the stop button, go, the light turns off, and your timers are not counting anymore. Come over here, use the start button again, there's a small second delay, and then they're running. 
when they get to four and a half, the red light will come on. And you can see there's a little bit of a delay between this kicks on first when, and then this times out. And that's just a networking delay there. So we hit the stop button, hit the start button, and the timer is timing. And this is how you display a timer on an HMI. And so if you were timing out for eight hours and then the operator had to do something, all of that could be displayed here. I hope this helped. This was Unit 15.1 in the TII Technical Education Systems Trainer. Thank you very much for watching.